Hi, and welcome to the Let's Do Video podcast. My name is David Maldo, and I made a pretty bold claim in the title of this video, so let me get right to the point. In the last few weeks, I've been having some issues with meetings set up in my Google Calendar. When I set up a meeting in my calendar and invite other people, I usually put a link to whatever service I'm using at the time, whether it's Zoom, WebEx, BlueJeans, 8x8, High 5 Pexib, life size, whatever it is, I put in my link. But what's been happening recently is, regardless of whatever service I'm using, when it's time for the meeting to start, some people just don't show up. And then they call or they email or I call them and I find out that they're in a Google Meet session. Now, I was pretty sure that I didn't add any Google Meet links to my meeting invites. So what was happening? Were my guests putting them in there? What, what was going on? So to get to the bottom of it, I sent myself some meeting invites to see what they looked like. And this is what I saw. As you can see, here are the links that I put in, and I used fake Zoom links for the example, but as I said before, it doesn't matter what service I use. And I usually put them in the location field and the description field because give more places for people to click. It's been working for me. And those links are there and they're still clickable, but there's this big blue button to join with Google Meet. I didn't put that in there. And now I see the confusion if I was, especially if I was a, a new video user, someone who wasn't very familiar with these things, what, what would I click? I would certainly click the big blue button as opposed to the link. So how is this happening? Was I doing something wrong? Were my guests doing something wrong? So I took a closer look to the process and this is what I saw what was happening. Okay, so here we are in a Zoom calendar. Let's make a meeting and see what happens. So I create, I usually go to more options so I can put everything in. Let's call this a test meeting. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut and paste my fake Zoom link. I usually put it in the location and description just so there's more places for people to find it. And let's put in our guest. And you can see, add Google Meet is there, but I'm not going to add it. I'm not choosing to use Google for this meeting. So I put in my guest, and when I hit enter, what just happened? This just got added. I didn't click it. The act of adding a guest added that, and I didn't notice it. A lot of other people commenting, commenting on Twitter are also not noticing it. And then when I save my meeting and send it to my guests, what they will now see is it has the button. It still has my Zoom links or my whatever service I'm using links, but now this is there and that's going to add confusion. Now at this point, I can go back into it. I can edit the meeting. I can delete it, my guests can't, but I can, and then resend it and hope that it doesn't add it in again. But no one's going to think to do that, and I didn't think to do that, and I had a lot of confused meetings. You also can change it in the settings. If you go to Zoom Calendar Settings, under Event Settings, there's a click box for Automatically Add Google Meet. But it's on by default. And it shouldn't be on by default. And honestly, people are still new at video. Some people are still having issues getting the time zones right on their meeting invites. They're not going to find this. What's going to happen is they're going to have a lot of confused meetings. They basically have a choice of having confused meetings with people in two meeting rooms, or just using Google Meet to make it simpler, whether they pre prefer it or not, or not using Google Calendar. Or what some people are doing is putting a note in all of their emails saying, hey, ignore any Google Meet links you see in my meeting invites because that's not what we're using. We don't want to have to be doing that. Now, I'm not looking to start a war against Google. I, I don't think this was a malicious thing. When I shared it on Twitter, of course, everyone was bashing on Google. They're playing dirty in the growing video market. I think what really happened is they're excited about Google Meet and they wanted to make it easy to join their service from their calendar. I don't think there was anything malicious. So this isn't about bashing on Google or bashing on Google Meet. It's a fine service. And when I want to use it, I want to use it. But when I want to use something else, I want to use something else and I want my people in two places. This really isn't about one service over the other. This is about protecting my calendar. I live on Google Calendar. It rules my day. I, the idea of someone messing with it or working in a way that I'm not trying to make it work is really stressful. And this isn't just me. A lot of people are having their meetings affected by this. And just <laughs> in today's world, the one thing you don't mess with is someone's digital calendar. Uh, it's really upsetting. So we hope that Google fixes this workflow. If you want us to use Google Meet, we're happy to try it. And we love the fact that you're making the service available. But don't confuse our guests when we're trying to get into other meetings. So thanks. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please subscribe for more and check us out at letsdovideo.com.